More than 5,000 houses in the Wapanamanda electorate in Enga province will be connected to electricity over the next two years. Work has already started with New Zealand government taking the lead in making funds available for groundwork and surveys to be done. We commend this government's leadership in putting what's important first, connecting households to power. Australian High Commissioner to PNG Bruce Davies said as promised from the APEC signed agreement, the Australian government is committed and will provide 60 million kina each year over the next four years as part of their contribution to this partnership. They are also looking at other ways beyond the existing programs to further support PNG. They are looking on infrastructure funds by committing to provide 50% to building public infrastructure with PNG government. We are very, very committed to joining with Papua New Guinea to fulfill this commitment and to work not only in big cities, but in the most remote areas of the country. Wapenamanda MP and Foreign Affairs Minister Rimbing Pato, who has been vocal on this project, said the 2018 APEC meeting has paved way for such projects to benefit the rural population. These four countries, including PNG, have agreed for the rural electrification project to take place so that by year 2030, at least 70% of the total population should have access to electricity. Our APK come in a one plan area long Papua New Guinea where big plan benefit by come. I'm inside long. You play here long Papua New Guinea. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill said less than 1 million Papua New Guineans have access to electricity. O'Neill said his government is committed to improving power generation to prevent frequent blackouts and ensure that every household have power to improve their living standards. To make him sure some power it must come up reliable. It must come up with time, so you may not can see black out close to close to. A 30 million kina from this year's budget has already been allocated for work to begin. One time, Desla, now we officially open in Desla, or Tripla project on behalf of the national government and our friends from the United States, Australia, Japan, and New Zealand. Thank you very much. Vasinata Yama, National MTV News, Mount Hagen.